Ich mal alles an. Good evening, everyone. And welcome to our musical stations of the cross, Via Dolorosa. This is a very special moment for us as we reflect on our Lord's suffering, His passion, with music, with songs and hymns that will lead us deeper into this experience. So I welcome you to experience Via Dolorosa. I do have a request to you all throughout the Stations of the Cross, please remain seated. You don't need to you know, stand or kneel or anything. Please remain seated in a prayerful mode and enjoy this presentation. Please do not applause after each song. Wait until the end. So this is going to be a prayerful experience for us. Thank you for being here and welcome again.
ఫస్ట్ స్టేషన్ జీసస్ ఈస్ కండమ్ టు డెత్ వీ అడోర్ యూ క్రైస్ట్ వీ బ్లస్ యూ బికాస్ బై యూ హోలీ క్రాస్ యూ హ్యావ్ రిడీమ్డ్ ద వర్ల్డ్ పైలట్ స్పోక్ టు దమ్ అగైన్ then what do you wish me to do with the man you call the king of the jews they shouted back crucify him pilate wishing to satisfy the crowd released barabbas for them and after flogging jesus he handed him over to be crucified man condemns god to death the creatures condemn their creator to a shameful death yes though he was god he silently accepts this verdict and like an innocent lamb led to the slaughter's house he allows himself to be led by sinful men to his place of crucifixion this act of condemning the innocent one to death is being repeated every day there are days when i condemn others though i know they are innocent and there are times when i am condemned by others lord jesus help me imitate you in suffering especially when i am condemned unjustly and may i offer my sufferings for the conversion of sinners amen
Second station, Jesus carries his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. After mocking him, they stripped him off the purple cloak and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him out to crucify him. The soldiers put the heavy wooden cross on the shoulders of our Lord. He doesn't react or refuse. Silently he accepts the cross and begins his journey for which he came into the world. How often have I burdened the lives of others by falsely accusing or gossiping about them? How many times I have participated in stripping others of their human dignity? My life also has been burdened by the weight of my own sins, but I am not prepared to carry those crosses willingly. I complain about my crosses and always try to avoid them. Jesus, Lord, you have taught me that if I want to be your disciple, I should deny myself, take up my daily crosses, and follow after you. Give me the courage and strength to carry my own crosses and follow you joyfully. Amen. Savior, I come, I quiet my soul. Remember, redemption's hill where your blood was spilled for my ransom and everything. Once held dear, I count it all as loss, and I will call upon your name and keep my eyes above the waves when oceans rise. My soul will. in the 
the presence of my Savior. Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders. Let me walk upon the waters wherever you would call me. Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander. And my faith would be made strong. rise, my soul will rest in your embrace, for I am yours, and you are Third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. He has borne our infirmities and carried our diseases, yet we accounted him stricken, struck down by God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the punishment that made us whole. Our Lord falls under the weight of the heavy cross for the first time. Prophet Isaiah tells us that it was our sins and diseases that he carried. He was wounded for our transgressions. He falls to the ground because of our iniquities. He accepts the punishment that we deserve upon himself. Lord, many times I have fallen under the weight of my crosses and I have complained to others and to you about it. Every time I have fallen, I expected others to come to my aid. I wanted my family and friends to make my crosses lighter. But when I did not receive their help, I become bitter towards them. Forgive me, Lord, for not accepting my own failures and sins. Forgive me, Lord, for avoiding my crosses or for complaining how heavy they are. Help me to get up from my falls and follow in your footsteps with courage. Amen. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Simeon blessed them and said to his mother Mary, This child is destined for the falling and rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be opposed so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed and a sword will pierce your own soul too. His mother treasured all these things in her heart. Our Lord meets his mother on the road to Calvary. What a painful moment that must have been for our Lord and for our Blessed Mother. For a mother to see her only son being led to be crucified must be the greatest pain and sorrow in the world. Yet our Blessed Mother silently suffers with her son. They both knew that this had to happen for the salvation of the world. How many mothers even today have to go through this unbearable pain and suffering of having to witness their children suffering? 
for getting killed. These are mothers who are helpless and their voices are lost in the crowd. Mother Mary, please comfort all the mothers in the world who are crying for their children. Amen. Fifth station, Simon helps Jesus carry his cross. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. As they led him away, they seized a man, Simon of Cyrene, who was coming from the country, and they laid the cross on him and made him carry it behind Jesus. Simon of Cyrene was forced to help Jesus carry the cross. Though unwilling, he received this unique privilege of carrying our Lord's cross. He happened to be there at that time and was given this blessing of helping our Lord. We are by nature creatures of comfort. We seek our own comforts and are often not willing to sacrifice our comforts to make others' lives better. We see so many people burdened under the weight of their daily crosses, but have refused to help them because it would require us to sacrifice some of our comforts. Every time I refuse to help someone in need, I have refused to help you, Lord. I have deprived myself of so many blessings because of my selfishness and self-centeredness. Open my eyes, dear Lord, to see the needs and sufferings of others. And like Simon, let me go out of my comfort zone to help them. Amen.
Sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. People had come out to the streets to see Jesus being led to be crucified. There must have been some who wanted to help him, but they didn't have enough courage. They were scared of the soldiers, but from the crowd there came a woman full of love and courage, Veronica, who wiped the holy face of our Lord. She didn't care what others would think of her, and she didn't think about her safety and reputation. How many times I have refused to help others because I was scared of my own safety and reputation. Whenever I have seen strangers asking for help, I have turned away from them because of lack of love and compassion. Lord Jesus, fill my heart and my life with love, courage and compassion that like Veronica, I would always reach out to wipe your face by helping those in need. Amen.
Seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Our lives are full of falls. We rise from one fall, only to fall into another. This experience of falling and rising is often frustrating and can lead us to a state of depression and hopelessness. Our Lord falls the second time under the weight of his cross. He is teaching us that as human beings we will have many falls. Some of those falls are due to our own doing while others are caused by what people do to us. Jesus is inviting us to rise from our falls and continue the journey of life with a determination. Every time we fall, let us remember his words, My grace is sufficient for you. Amen. Eighth Station Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. How many of us really think of others' sufferings and troubles when we are going through a terrible time in life? We know it is just human to focus on ourselves more when we have problems. Whenever we focus too much on our problems, we fail to see the sufferings of others. Jesus teaches us something very different here. Though he was suffering, he takes the time to comfort the women of Jerusalem and offers them hope. How beautiful would our lives be if we can look around and see the struggles and sufferings of our brothers and sisters and like Jesus offer them comfort and hope. Help us Jesus to be selfless and compassionate. Amen.
ninth station jesus falls for the third time we adore you o christ and we bless you because by your holy cross we have redeemed the world this was the final fall of jesus but even here he makes the effort to rise he had no more energy left and he could barely move yet he was focused on accomplishing the mission for which he came into the world when we are tired and sick we lose sight of our goals in life we get distracted and we give excuses for not rising from our falls when we fall into one sin instead of rising from it and going back to our heavenly father like the prodigal son we fall into more and more sins the third fall of our lord was the most painful one and yet he doesn't remain there however great our faults may be how big our sins are if we rise and come to the father we receive mercy and forgiveness help me lord to come running to you and experience your love and mercy and never stay away from your presence amen
tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When I was hungry, you gave me food. When I was thirsty, you gave me drink. When I was naked, you clothed me. When I was a stranger, you welcomed me. Every human person is created in the beautiful image and likeness of God. When God created us, he gave us our human dignity because we are his living images. We all have the right to our dignity and when we are stripped of our dignity, we cease to be human. None of us like to lose our human dignity and yet how many times we have stripped others of their dignity. Every time we speak ill of others, gossip, criticize or condemn people, we are actually stripping them of their human dignity. Jesus is inviting us to clothe the naked, especially those who have been made naked because of our selfishness and indifference. Help me, Lord, to see your face in the thirsty, hungry, naked, sick, and strangers. Amen. Eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. There they crucified him, and with him two others, one on either side, with Jesus between them. Finally, his painful journey has come to an end, and they nailed him to the cross. How excruciating the pain must have been when they nailed our Lord to the cross. Those of us who have seen the movie The Passion of Christ would remember the scene of his crucifixion. Yes, he suffered all this for you and me. As we heard from prophet Isaiah, that it was our punishment that he accepted and suffered. Every day we should remember what our Lord did for us on the cross and remain grateful. But how often do we remember to thank our Lord for suffering and dying for us on the cross? Forgive us, Lord, for our ingratitude and unfaithfulness and help us to always remember your great love that you show us on the cross for us sinners. Amen.
12th station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. It was now about noon. Darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon, while the sun's light failed, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Then Jesus crying with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. <laughs> Having said this, he breathed his last. Our Lord came into this world to bring us life, eternal life. He came to pay the price of our sins and save us from eternal death. But he does this by his own death. He takes upon himself our sufferings, our transgressions, and our death, and dies on the cross. His death brought an end to our eternal misery. Like our Lord, we will also face death one day. When that day comes and we stand face to face with death, will we have the satisfaction of knowing that we fulfilled the purpose of our lives in this world and are ready now to see our God and be in his presence for all eternity. Jesus Lord, save us from eternal death and welcome us into your kingdom. Amen.
13th station, Jesus' body is taken down from the cross and placed in Mary's arms. We adore you, o Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The body of Jesus is taken down from the cross and placed in the lap of his mother Mary. Holding her beloved son's lifeless body in her lap must have brought so many memories to our Blessed Mother. She must have remembered holding him in her arms as a little baby. She must have remembered him embracing and kissing her. All those beautiful memories must have flashed through her mind as she looked at our Lord's lifeless, yet beautiful and peaceful face. Mother Mary, be by our side when we have to hold the lifeless bodies of our loved ones. When our hearts are broken and filled with sorrow and agony, give us strength and comfort, Mother, and the hope of knowing that we will all be together in heaven in your loving and motherly presence. Amen.
Fourteenth station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who was also a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be given to him. So Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn in the rock. He then rolled a great stone to the door of the tomb and went away. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary were there, sitting opposite the tomb. The final act of his journey was his burial in the tomb. His painful journey has come to an end, but now the most glorious chapter is about to begin. For those who have no faith, death is the end of the story. But for us, death is the beginning of the new chapter of life. The best is yet to come. When I have to bury my loved ones, help me to remember, Lord, that they are just beginning the best part of their life. Yes, their life with you in heaven, which is our true home. When my death comes near, remind me, Lord, that I am coming nearer to you. Amen.
So we So we thank Jeremiah our music director for his creativity for his commitment hard work We are so grateful to God ever since Jeremiah took over our music ministry he has brought so much life so much beauty so much creativity into our whole experience of enjoying music he works really hard he has great vision and he has a beautiful team look at all our team here they they worked so hard so many so many weeks and hours all of them everyone everyone and patrick there it's been such a team work and we are so happy and so proud that we have such a great team here at our church i wish our whole parish could come and enjoy this beautiful experience we had but this is available on youtube and on our website so please share it with your family and friends help everyone to enjoy and have a great experience of this musical stations of the cross via dolorosa thank you everyone for being here we do have a a small reception outside and kimberly and our staff they have put that together so as you exit the church please go to the uh, tent there and enjoy the reception and socialize with the fellow parishioners god bless you all and good night